This shot, I have to say, impressed me the most. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Today, I want to show you the brand new director's mode from Hilu, and it has a lot of camera movements in there. It is text to video, but the results are actually pretty nice. Let's get started. So this is early access. It's not publicly available yet. And because of that, they still have to fine tune and improve it a little bit. But here you can see the interface as it is. Down here you have the director's model text to video and then here on the lower part you can see a little camera button. Now this is not for uploading an image, this is for selecting what kind of shots you want to have and I actually appreciate that because this gives you an overview of what you can do but also the right terms of what to use in your prompt. And here you can have either individual shots, which you can use up to three at the same time. So combining them at the same time, they're not going to be one after another. They're going to be one shot together. For example, the camera going to the left, like moving to the left and panning to the right or stuff like that. You know what I mean? Or zoom in while moving to the left. You can combine that. So there's a lot of choice here. You can see you have truck left and right. You have pen left and right. You have push in or out. You have the pedestal up and down shot. You have the tilt up and down shot. So pedestal up and down is more that the complete camera is going up and down while the tilt is just the camera tilting up and down, right? Then you have a zoom in. Of course, a zoom in is different from a push in because a push in moves the complete camera closer while a zoom in just like zooms the lens in. And that, of course, looks different in the video. Then you have a shaky camera if you want to, which is nice. You have like this handshake effect. You have a tracking shot of a character, object, anything you want. And then you also have a static chop. Now that I really appreciate because especially on runway it is really complicated to get a static camera that is not moving the camera always tries to move a little bit at least in my tries and my attempt so here you have a specific setting for the static camera I really like that now also you have here the fixed combinations that you can choose from so they combine different movements you can see here circling left around uh, an object or you can have here circling right into the other direction you have the upward tilt if you want to so this is a little bit like a drone shot in this kind of preview here you have the left walking and the right walking you have the downward tilt what else do we have here? You have stage left. I couldn't get that to work in a nice way. Um, but yeah, you can do that. And then you have also stage right where you, the camera goes to the right and then zooms in onto something. And you also have a scenic shot here. So pretty useful things. You can do a lot with that. You can be a director, like actually creating your different movie scenes. So all of that is very, very useful for the future of creating digital video and AI video with that and having more control over the process. Now let's have a look at how the results look from that. And I have to say, I picked the best results that I got from this, first of all, because it's early access, but then also secondly, because it's text to video. So you're not quite sure what exactly you get. So you have to test around a little bit. But that said, most of them that I show you are first roll. It's just that like I tried the different kinds of scenes and I'm showing you the best ones that I like most. So let's get started here with the boxer where the camera is going down, but at the same time keeping track of the character. I really like that. Of course, maybe a director wouldn't exactly do it in a way where these ropes go directly over his head. But other than that, the scene and everything, the camera movement is really, really nice here. Next, we have a scene where a boat is going over a lake at sunset. The camera is following it. And that is actually also a very nice shot. I love how the dynamic works between the boat and the water and also the nice reflections you have there on the water. And again, like the tracking shot here is actually really beautiful. Here we have a scene in a museum. 
around a Greek or Roman sculpture and that worked surprisingly well. I love the crispness, I love the consistency of the character of the scene overall, the beautiful lighting you have here. So this tracking shot worked really good and actually it has some kind of that movement around it if you do it by hand. It has a little bit of this kind of walking movement in there which also makes it more natural. You might want to have something that is more like gliding like a drone and for that you have to do maybe some more tests of the same shot. Next I made here a time lapse of a guy standing in a road at night and also that worked out pretty well. As you can see the camera is 100% static and the guy also and it is also a time lapse. We have these light streaks. All of that looks really beautiful. I really enjoy that shot. Here I did another test of a boat on a lake where the camera is higher and going maybe a little bit around the boat but it's like this kind of drone shot and also that turned out really beautiful. Again the lighting and the water effects are really cool. The reflections are very nice. So you can use this actually in a video. This is we are at the point where you can use AI as a stock footage scene that you cut in between other scenes and it looks real. In this case we have a pizza where we have this push in of the camera, not a zoom shot. And as you can see it does work exactly as you would expect a push in to look because of like the dynamic between the object and the background. If you zoom it's different dynamic of course here you have a push in. It is very consistent of what is happening on the pizza. There is no flickering, there is no changing or morphing. The objects stay exactly the same and we just get a close up of these beautiful tasty ingredients. So I'm very happy with that. Next we have here a tracking shot of a racing car, very fast moving and again looks really good. It looks a little bit like a video game. I have to admit it's not 100% like where I would think this is a real scene but of course that can happen. That's no problem and I actually have another example where it looks much realer. And that is actually this example here where the car is driving through the Alps. Beautiful scene, very very nice effect. Look at the reflections on the car but also the nice movement of the landscape in the background. This is I would say a very believable shot that you could almost like play off as a real camera shot. Very cool. Next here's my attempt of the camera zooming in on a woman in a crowd on an event and it actually is not too bad. I like that we have this server going in front of the camera actually looking pretty consistent with the walking. The only thing I don't like here is how the face of the character looks. It looks kind of strange, kind of like unreal. But other than that the shot is actually pretty good and the consistency especially with the lots of people in there is nice and also look at the background where the people are walking. These details are actually also very nice. Next I want to show you a shot that did not really work out. I want just to show you because it still impressed me on the complexity of the shot and how well the camera moves inside of this end um, tunnel which looks very like human built but at the same time it's impressive from all the complexity that is going on here. Now here I have another tracking shot where the camera is at the same time going to the right and as you can see it's not panning the whole camera is going to the right. It looks really nice. Look at the reflections of her walking legs on the ground. The light, the silhouette of her body really really nice. I am very impressed by that and I really like these kind of like night neon light alleys and this actually turned out just good. Here we have another funny shot. I wanted to have a guy walking alongside a road but he is walking at high speed kind of like a the flash or superman kind of shot but still kind of cool. I, I like it. Next this one is a shot you could maybe see in their marketing because yeah it's it looks good how the woman is holding the umbrella walking along the street and also a car going in front of her but this consistency is kept for the camera and the character. So yeah very very nice pretty cool. 
And also this mountain shot with the climbers sitting on the cliff while the camera is going down, revealing the landscape, the scope of how impressive everything is. This is a classic shot you see in these kind of like adventure nature documentary. So you could also think this is an actual real shot. And they're a classic action superhero shot of the guy overlooking the city. The camera is going down to reveal more of the city. So we see both the street light and the cityscape. Again, yeah, it turned out great. And again, this is a first roll. This shot, I have to say, impressed me the most because of not only how this shows the inside of the room, but then also an active street life that actually I would say for most part works, but also how the focus is changing because first you see these kind of like little droplets crisp and sharp on the window. And then when the focus, the attention goes to the street life, it actually shifts the focus to the street life. I was very impressed by that. Maybe there's a lucky accident, but it looks really good. And here we have a push in onto a blossom. Now this is really kind of like missing the mark a little bit because you want to see like the middle of the blossom and this is like going over top of it. But at the same time, it is a very nice macro shot, pretty crisp, nice detail. So yeah, it also worked. So personally, when I look at these things, I have to say, I think the future of AI video and movies is going to be amazing. If you have the creativity, you can do really, really crazy things right now. Now, I have to say that platforms like Hilu are not exactly cheap to use. If you want to have, for example, the unlimited tier where you can create as many videos as you want, but at the same time, as you if you know anything about cameras, you know that a normal camera with a good lens runs you at least $5,000. And that's just the camera that's not going on the location, filming everything, needing the software, editing everything. So compared to that, we're actually talking about a tiny fraction of the cost. So looking at it from that perspective, it's actually not that bad. To be honest, even though it's not cheap at all compared to the real thing, it is super cheap. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.